Traders Anthony here. If you go through my videos down here, you'll see a gold trading strategy, uh, my uh, approach, my trading plan, my strategy. And in that video, I uh, had these markups on the chart. So we're starting to see the move now into my ideal entry point. Now, the way to get involved with this, if you're going to go long, is it's a very, very simple. We can go down the time frames and look for an opportunity when uh, the market changes, uh, shifts gears. In other words, we see this trend here change structure. Okay, we need to see a break of market structure, bullish break. At the moment, this is currently trending down. So what I'll do is I'll take out my drawing. We're looking for price action to basically find support and perhaps range a little bit and then the thing to look out for would be a move where they entice buyers in and then raid those stop losses. And then we want to see after that, uh, you want to see a move with speed to the upside, displacement. All right, so that's the, 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 the chart pattern that I'm looking for. If you have a look, you'll see this playing out time and time again where when it reverses generally, now you'll see a range what will happen is it'll spike under. So you want to look out for double bottoms, things like that. Taps in and then the reversal. It's, it's a really simple process. You want to wait for the break of market structure. And here we have a, a shift in, in uh, structure here. This is a shift in the trend, change of character. And then the break of market structure. Well, you know, happened a little bit later on. But higher highs, higher lows. So keep an eye out for that. This one was a little bit tricky because we had this lower uh, lower high here, okay? But uh, you know, generally speaking, that's what you want to look out for. So this is all I'm waiting on, basically, is for this to find uh, support. And you know, a couple of things that you want to look out for, as I mentioned in my previous video, on the four-hour time frame. If we go back out, we've got yeah. Well, look, see, this is a uh, you know, it's not picture perfect, guys, but you get a bit of a range, and then you're looking for this move and it's similar to what I mentioned down here you want to see a bit of a fake out and then they uh, entice sellers in stops go above and they hit those stops fake out shake out and then you get the move so I'm going to be looking for the same thing down here a bit of a fake out move north and then a shake out and then break of market structure bullish and uh, in a four hour time frame you'll see that time and time again it'll play out you know it's it's a very typical kind of price action i mean even here with this pullback you see this range the market uh, price actually does a bit of a dip and then it trades up and then you get the move that one yeah i mean it's not going to be you know it won't always be picture perfect but it's definitely something to be mindful of where you see a double top or a double bottom you know any significant move and uh, you'll generally see you know like be prior to any significant trend it's it's not easy to spot i guess have a look here you get a bit of a double bottom had a little bit of a move up and then a really aggressive move down to the to the uh downside taking out these stops anyway guys that's the sort of uh price action that i'll be looking for i want to see it trade down i want to see it range and then it's just the volatility after the range and uh, you know like the, the key thing with this would be i guess a double or triple bottom and then it spikes under and then you see it um trading off with speed something like that and then you know you see higher highs and higher lows kicking in and it's the rotation that we're looking for pretty much all right so where's that going to happen well have a look back in here we have this uh swing well, this entire range and I'm going to pull it from this low through here to the high all right so we're looking at this entire range here now my bias is bullish you know actually we could probably go from this low here so I'm looking at this swing low to high and I'm hoping for a higher low we've got a couple of things in here that could be a target for this to trade into and one is this green candle there's nothing left and right of it as you can see it's bullish it's one-sided uh, trading so we have a bullish or uh, sorry a bullish uh, in ba imbalance here and i'm thinking that that is a target it's already tapped into nearly the midpoint of this imbalance looking to rebalance but uh, i think we might see a little bit more downside and uh, we have the highs over here uh, as another level 
of interest all through here. All right, so there's a couple of levels. This is imbalance, and then we've got, you know, this bullish order block. I've marked it up, actually. You can see that here. Okay, so that's that's a level of interest as well. So, you know, how far back does it pull down? It could rotate here. It could rotate here, or it could get aggressive, and it could look for the stops that are sitting under, under this, this low here. So you just want to be a little bit careful. We just marked it up as a uh, liquidity pool. You know, so you might want to consider widening your stop i mean this is speculation this setup here this is speculation all right i'd be more inclined to well i mean look you could place a limit buy and set it up like that that would be a valid um, setup or you could uh, you know delete that and wait for price to play out and give you the setup right so the uh, the main thing we're looking for is this rotation and then higher highs higher lows break of market structure something like that All right this trend will shift and then there'll be a break of structure whoops i think that's more like it there okay All right guys so that's my take on on gold at the moment my bias is bullish but i want a decent pullback and the other thing too you want to consider is this so we grab the fibonacci and pull it from the swing points in fact you know you could go with this swing point here that's valid okay that's the base of this bullish order block all right so that's a valid swing point for the fib grab the fib pull it from the swing low to the swing high yeah i'm gonna disregard that and just go with this range here and it's the 50 you know it's already tapped into it but i want the pull back down into the 61.8 that's really when it, uh, where i want to see price move and then you know however this plays out whether it's well it's down in here it's here or even below okay so we just wait for this price action before uh, we get involved so that's my take on gold i hope you uh, enjoyed the video and definitely comment i would love to hear your thoughts on this with that i hope you have a great day safe trading and we'll see you in the next one